Hello, you're welcome to another edition of our program XTP Young and Loved. Okay, um, I'm here with a wonderful guest full of energy. <laughs> this is Stephanie. Welcome. <laughs> okay, yes, we'll be talking a lot today about something you probably know. It's called um, the golden rule, which is do to others what you have them do to you. Okay, so we'll be talking about it today. So, and um, I'm going to start with Stephanie. Yes, okay. before I say anything. Of course, I'm, I remain your host, Chin Eme Ejawa. All right, so Stephanie, tell us, what do you understand by that statement? I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to be on this program. Um, this platform is amazing. So, the topic is do to others what you have them do to you. And it sounds so easy, but is it really easy? Do you think it's easy? Let me give a scenario of you steal. If someone steals from you and you're angry, do you feel that done to you have done to you what you do to others? So basically, that's just um is do me, I do you, man no go vex. But why are you angry? Mm. Why are you angry? Are you angry? So the whole basis is if you know you don't want someone to steal from you, don't, don't steal. steal from if you know you don't want someone to to beat you, don't beat. Mm. If you know you don't want someone to cheat on you. Don't no cheat. Yeah, exactly. So basically, it's oh. just a um, do me, I do you. Mm. So if you want to be nice, be nice to someone for someone to be nice to you. Sure. Speak good to someone for someone to speak good to you. Mm. If you always insult someone, someone that will never even respect you. Never even take it for. They will take it for granted. Sure. And all of a sudden, you want them to respect. Look, I respect is end. You don't. You don't come and force respect. So if I don't respect you. There's no way you don't even children you need to respect children. Mm. A lot of people feel like, oh, they are children that they're, they're meant to respect me. You need to respect them for them to respect you. Mm. So in all, it's really not easy. It's something that you need to train. It's something of the mind. Sure. If you if you do good, you expect good. Mm. But if you're evil, don't expect good. Why? Sure. If you do me evil, why are you expecting me to do you good? Oh, yeah. Life is not like that. Sure, sure. It's okay. not like that. All right. Wow, you've heard it all. In, in fact, it's uh, this is just the summary of everything. And I feel like if everybody starts to do this, there'll be peace everywhere. Imagine the killer thinking about how he will feel if he's the victim. <laughs> that means that killing will not happen, <laughs> of course. So if we all think that before we take any action, then we will never do wrong. We will never do wrong. Okay, so finally, I just want you to um, just say um, one word to someone who is planning to do something right now. <laughs> yeah, there are people planning something. I don't know if it's good or bad, but if... <laughs> If, from what we just said, what will you tell someone who is planning to do anything now, right now? <laughs> um, the topic already explains it. <laughs> if you don't want someone to do something to you, then don't do it. Think about the consequences of your actions. Yeah, Evaluate the harm it will cause to another person yeah. before you embark on such activity mm. so the whole essence is evaluate what you want to do mm. is it going to be of benefit or is it going to lead to a whole lot of disadvantages mm. okay you heard it to someone who wants to do something now so just pause think right now <laughs> what am i about to do how will i feel if that same thing is done to me all right thank you so much stephanie thank you that was awesome. And um, we'd like to have you over and over in this program. Oh, thank you, everyone, for staying. And we hope you come back next time. Thank you. Bye for now. Okay.